So hello and thank you very much for clicking play in this video where I'm going to show you how to chroma key in Sony Vegas Pro 11. So it's slightly different from the Pro 10. So I thought, you know, I may as well make, make a video how to do it with the Pro 11. So as you can see, I already got my tracks on, on the timeline here already. And basically all I need to do is, uh, is basically key out the green. Okay. Take out what I don't want. So at the beginning, we're going to begin with this one here. We're going to get the chroma key here and I'm going to pick the green just drop it so as you can see pretty much removed all the green but before we go get this to work properly I'm going to actually show mask only ok so it puts me white I'm going to bump this one right up to the top so I can get the most blue as possible Okay, and then the eye threshold push it back. So it's pretty much the same as the Pro 10, but it's just slightly, slightly different. But there you go. So then I just going to add a blur amount about the two. Usually does just fine. Just okay. Okay, that's that's easy because in this one I only had a green background to take off. So in this one here. Now you can see I got the edges, okay, which I want to take that whites out. So let's do that. So let's get the green screen, drop it on the top there, and now we want to take that out. So then again, low threshold right up to the top, high threshold back, just to get the prospect white as possible. Okay, let's add a blur amount to there. Right, and now let's take the whites. We need to take that whites there. So again, we go here to to the invent pan. Select the mask. And basically, just using the mask tool, we're just gonna draw a circle around me. That's it. Okay, I'll adjust the position. Just move him to there. Okay, that's done. Now on here, let's adjust the position in this one as well. Okay, now it's time to add some color. Just go here to bright, brightness, brightness and contrast. Get a dark there. Just drop that on the top. Do the same to that one as well. Okay, and now this blue can go. I actually, I only added the blue because uh, I'm actually going to use a studio on the back there. So I'm just going to drag and drop the studio on the timeline here. There is the studio. Okay, as you can see, my arm still a bit on the top of the studio there. So I'm just going to move myself a bit more. Okay, it's about there. Okay, now I want to key out the green as well from the studio. So I'm just going to turn myself off here for a bit so I can see what I'm doing. Again, green screen. And pretty much that should be it. Okay, I'm going to just copy that from here. Put it there to the end of the film. And that's it. Now all I need is just a picture at the bottom. So say if I want to, whatever I'm going to put on the screen. So I'm just going to pick it a solid. Let's get a yellow. Put that down there so you can see the yellow. So you can see I still have to tune this one here. Okay. So I'm going to bump this right to the top. You probably can't see this, but it's kind of started to flicker a little bit, so that's why I have to use the eye threshold to tidy up the image a bit. Okay, now there was a couple of mistakes. Okay, I'm going to show you now. This will happen as you edit. Okay, all happens all the time, you know. 
it's, it's, you can can help it. So now I'm going to show you the couple things that uh, I end up doing which I shouldn't do. And if this happens to you, you may end up having to do thinking that you have to do the project again, but you don't. Okay, just a couple tips tips here to get you solve solve your problem really quick. So one of them is uh, if you look here on the screen, you can see it's a B dark. Okay, and that is dark because of my uh, the low threshold is a bit low, so I just put that up. You see that goes down, so it removes that little dark color that we don't want there. Okay, so there is one. So the next one is in this one as well. You can see you can you can even see it's just about to see like a, a square shaped smooch there and another one there. So again, this one the problem is exactly the same one. So we just push the threshold up a bit. Just cleans up, okay? So it's a cleanup. Um, another thing that uh, went wrong is if I click here on uh, Invent Pancrow, you also see that I have two keyframes, okay? And then what happened is I'm going to be moving side to side because the keyframe is not in one place, right? So all I need to do is, all I need to do because of the mistake was because I had the side neck cursor that was, was connected. So I just need to disconnect it and delete the first keyframe. So delete that one and delete this one. So by doing this, I just keep this one, move to the beginning. Okay, but in that, I, I, by doing that, I just fix the project without having to do everything again. Do chroma key with the Sony Vegas Pro 11. I'm Jose Nunes. Thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Bye-bye for now. Thank you.